Hey, 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 Gemini, this is your sacred scribe here. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is going to be a reading for my Geminians, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Jupiter, and North Node. This will not resonate with everybody, of course, but hopefully it will with you. Please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe right down below there, Gemini, if you would before you leave. I do appreciate it, and thank you so much for all of your likes, shares, and subscriptions. If you guys are interested in a personal reading, that way this is more specific to you and your questions and your needs. Information can be found in the description box below. Don't forget to comment as well. Let me know if this resonates. I want to hear from you guys and hit that notification bell. That way you get notified whenever I upload a video or go live. And please visit my new channel, Nature Speaks 333, where I give daily readings from the trees um, channelings from the trees for the collective. Okay, Gemini, let's see what's coming at you. We have the Hermit, the Six of Swords, Justice, and the High Priestess. There you are, Gemini. Hmm. Gemini, you may have felt off lately some of you Geminis, for whoever this is for, I feel like you may have felt like unbalanced in some way. Because of this, you, or you will be going inward with this hermit energy here. I feel like this is going to be a very personal experience for you. It's going to be purposeful and it's going to be just with yourself. It's for your soul's growth. And I feel like it's in, it's intentional. You're going to find balance here and your intuition is going to increase. The Knave of Swords, see? Yep, this is clarifying the Hermit. So you're really digging deep here I feel like you're seeking to expand your intuition. This is very purposeful. And you will. You will. And not only that, I feel like you're going to find this sense of peace within your heart space that you weren't expecting. It's not that you weren't expecting peace, but I feel like it's going to, this is something new. King of Wands. You're going to come out of this with a lot of confidence in yourself and in your dreams. I feel like you're going to have massive manifestation power when you come out of this. Ten of Wands. And you're prepared to put in the work to manifest this. It's it's not only because I feel like you're going to be doing like, I don't know, creative visualization while you're meditating here through this expansion of your dreams. And I don't even feel like that was the reason why you went within. It wasn't even to, okay, I'm going, I'm, I'm meditating to creatively visualize right, in order to manifest. No, you went within because of this imbalance and seeking to find that balance and the reason for the imbalance, right? And through this, Gemini, you're realizing your power. You're realizing uh, the power of visualization that you have for one. But within this piece that you discover you find it's really power. It's like within this piece, there's power. Tell me about the Six of Swords. For some of you, you could actually be moving. And this could actually help with your manifestation here, the King of Swords. So you're going to be making some major decisions coming up. And it could be related to business, Five of Pentacles, 
Yeah, because you're coming in from out of the cold. You're coming in from that lack mentality because you're going to discover why you have this lack mentality or you had this lack mentality. How you were lying to yourself, how you were deceiving yourself. Why you were feeling so defeated. Some of you were feeling defeated as far as your manifestations. It's like, I, I feel like. And again, this isn't the reason why you're going within, which is kind of wild, but I mean, isn't that the way that it goes, right? Sometimes you begin to meditate and, you know, it's the best things happen when there's no expectation. I meditated, this was a couple months back, I was meditating Gemini and just I, I was doing distance Reiki because I offer that with, with my readings, right? Free distance Reiki. So I was finished doing that for a client and I'm like, well, let me Reiki myself. And spirit says, no. And I'm like, okay. So they, they prompted me to go to my solar plexus and just Reiki that. And I found there was a major blockage. Like I see colors during Reiki and I saw black and it wouldn't leave. Like usually I can break through that and then I see the color yellow and then I know to move on to the next chakra. Uh-uh. So with Reiki and Reiki and Reiki, that solar plexus, they took me on a past life regression that I didn't even expect. I wasn't even intending for that. So it's sort of like that. You were going in meditating for one reason, looking within for one reason, and you're going to come out. Wow. With so much soul, soul growth. Look at this. You have temperance here, and this is clarifying justice. I love this together. Because it's through this just reinforces that through this balance that you find within you comes creation, creation of your dreams in a, in a business wise. And I'm feeling like love is going to follow that. Like I'm feeling this is, this is like your dreams, um, business quote unquote, but it's not really work for you, right? Because it's something that you love. Let me see what else. What else are you creating here? Is there somebody coming in? Huh. Here font. This is the wisdom. Wow. You're you're gonna create like when I say you're creating your dreams here, I don't say that lightly. Because all of your dreams, see, the fool are about to come true. Why? Because you're actually, it's not letting go. It's, it's integration of, of everything that you are, all of the aspects, right? Masculine, feminine, positive, negative. There's an understanding. A lot of the signs are sort of getting this. And I feel like it really has to do with Neptune going retrograde. And the, the veil sort of being lifted and, and allowing us to go deeper. I highly encourage a lot of meditation during this time, Gemini. So even when you come through this and you discover this balance within, this power that you are, okay, I... I very much encourage you to keep doing this because you never know what spirit's going to bring. Look at this ace of chalices. I knew I felt that. And I feel like when this love comes along, it could be a water sign, knight of wands or a fire sign. When this love comes along, you're not going to say anything because you want it to go somewhere. Knight of pentacles. Yeah. So you're taking your time revealing this, but you're going to have a lot of fun with this because you're, it's like you want to commit, right? Ace of Wands, but you're like, I'm just going with this passion because the Knight of Wands there is very passionate. I don't feel with this Knight of Wands necessarily a player quality. I feel more you're just having fun and you're going to see where it goes. So it may start off like very sexual possibly but there is love here there is love there's passion let me see who this person is who is this person 
Five of chalices. Oh, this person's been hurt. Knave of pentacles. They're going to offer you something. Uh, it's, it's going to be small, but I, I don't think you're looking for anything huge. Six of chalices. So they feel a connection with you. They feel the soul connection, right? But they have this fear because of a past love here. So allow them the space to heal. Okay. Yeah, because they have anxiety and fear here with the Nine of Swords about getting into a love relationship too quickly, Two of Swords. So it's like their heart chakra is a little bit blocked. It's not blocked completely, but there, there's fear that needs to be broken through. Okay, so be aware of that with this individual. Eight of Wands, there's so much passion between you. Okay, Nine of Chalices. Okay, so they eventually make it up the ladder here, right? They, they continue going with this opening of the hearts. So do what you do here and just go slow. That's, that's what I feel you're doing. You're just having fun. You're just being a Gemini, right? Because all of your dreams will come true here. Strength. And that's what you're going to go in this with. And you're going to come out so much stronger. Like strength on steroids here. Okay, Leo energy. Okay, so advice for Gemini. <laughs> is the number 35, which is an eight, right? That's abundance. Risk. Be aware or you will have to beware. Do not deny the risk and hazards that you see. So be aware of everything around you. I'm going to get you another one here. All the more reason to keep going within because the deeper that you go, the more that you go within Gemini, the more your eyes are open and the more aware you become. So don't, don't deny the risks and hazards that you see. That's what this says. So don't question what you see. Trust it. Distractions. When you are trying to solve a problem, you will often be tested by distraction. So pay attention. And this is so true. If you all of a sudden feel and see and experience that you have all these distractions, you have to ask yourself why. Because it's, it's a test, okay? Especially with you, Gemini, uh, with your head being in a lot of directions at the same time, most of the time. So... Be more aware and stay centered. And I feel that you're going to do this when you go within any way. But keep going with that. Keep going, okay? You're going to get stronger and stronger. And you're going to come out with such strength that nothing will stop you from getting everything that you desire, okay? All right, Gemini, I hope this resonated. I hope it made sense. Please drop a like below. Share and subscribe if you already haven't, if you're interested in a personal reading. That way this is more specific to you and your questions and your needs. Information can be found in the description box below. Don't forget to comment as well. Let me know if this resonates. I want to hear from you guys and hit that notification bell. That way you get notified whenever I upload a video or go live. Have a fabulous day and I will catch you guys on the flip side on the dailies. Namaste.